But no, I, I never, I always felt like at Purdue, like Bruce Weber would be the next coach, but he got the Illinois job. If they wait one more year, Bruce Weber's head coach at Purdue. Yeah. If that doesn't fall and that, that happens. And a lot of people don't realize how I got my opportunity at Southern Illinois is, is really just off of Roy Williams going from Kansas to North Carolina and then Bill going to Kansas and then Bruce Weber going from Southern Illinois to Illinois. If right. he doesn't, if, if Roy doesn't leave Kansas, then that it, it changes my whole career, changes Bruce Weber's career. Bruce Weber becomes the coach at Purdue. Wow. Not yeah, that year, crazy. but oh, probably cool. the next year. Because they talked to him the year before that, and they said, Coach Katie has two years left on his contract. Would you come back and be an assistant for two years? And that was right after we went to the Sweet 16. And he says, I'm, I wouldn't do it for two years. Wow. I'd do it for a year. And then the next year came around, and that's when he got Illinois. So when that, when that proposition came back up, like the following year after that, like that's when I was like, man, I was, I was kind of floored. Like I was in the mix. Like when they, when they offered me the Purdue, they didn't offer me the Purdue job. They set it up. It was weird. They set it up and I was recruiting. We got beat in the first round of the NCAA tournament and um, in Seattle. And we got beat by Alabama by one. And we flew back that night. And then I go recruiting the next day in Lexington, Kentucky. And I'm waiting outside of a school to go in and talk to somebody the next day. And their AD calls me and says, Coach Katie has been offered the San Francisco job. And he's thinking about taking it. Yes. Have you ever heard of this? No. Okay. He, he got offered. He's been offered the San Francisco job. Um, that's one scenario. Um, he's going to retire right now. That's a possible another scenario. Or he's going to coach his last year. And we're going to, you know, possibly bring you in to be the assistant for a year and then take over after. And so I said, well, can you repeat that last part? again?" <laughs> I was just like, like pinching myself. Like, so I said, well, if you feel good enough about me being your coach, if I'm assistant for a year, then why don't you feel good enough about me being your coach? If he retires and he goes, well, that's a different scenario. And we're going to bring in three or four guys. And you're going to be one of them in that scenario. And so I said, let me just get it straight. So I'm good enough to be your coach if, I, if I'm the assistant for one year. <laughs> See, I tried to be, I tried to get on staff there with coach two or three times and, 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 and I did not get hired. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, like, really? I hired as a head coach. And that was always my line when I spoke. Like, you know, I, I tried to get on staff here two or three times as an assistant. So I'm not who, good enough to be an assistant. Hired, who, who, who got hired instead? Coach. What's that? Who got hired instead? Um, Jay Price got hired initially. Then they hired a guy by the name of Jim Thrash. Okay. And then they had another opening that came up and then Todd came in, Todd oh, came okay. in and then it was like in a way, it was only going to be like for a year or so or something, something was there. And then he obviously was able to stand on because something changed. Um, and so like, yeah, that was always my, I just wanted to be coach Katie's assistant. It was like, in my first time I was just done with college and I just, it would not have been a good thing. That was a good move on their part. Yeah. That was a good move on there. I, I was not, anywhere close to being ready to do something like that.